In this section, we're going to look at how we create and distribute project level security certificates for our automation project. And they'll be used on our plant network to verify the authenticity of each station and the projects associated with it. Before we begin, let's take a look at what certificates actually are. Here we are at the Siemens website, and you can see that it's using the HTTPS protocol. The S stands for security, and there's a lock icon. In some browsers, the URL will appear green. If we click on the lock icon, it tells you that your connection is secure and any information you pass to it is private. That's because it's encrypted. If we take a look at the certificate, it gives you the information about the domain that was issued the certificate and who it was issued by, and this is known as the Certificate Authority. So when you load the site, the certificate is downloaded, and then information between you and the website is encrypted. You can get different information about the certificate, such as who issues it, when it is valid from and to, what algorithm that it was used to generate the certificate, and things like the public keys, authority, etc. So Siemens has allowed this same security to be used in plants between automation projects. And we'll use the WinCC Unified Certificate Manager to create our certificates. So here, we're going to create a new certificate authority. And basically, this is not much different than using Amazon to generate a certificate for the World Wide Web, but this is for our plant. So first, we're going to create a new certificate authority, and it's going to give it a name. You can also use whatever name you want here, and we can just fill out the information. So for organizational unit, you could put self, or you could put the name of your uh, organization, and I'll just fill out my information. And then, of course, we're going to create a password which will encrypt the certificate. And then we just click Create. And basically, this will create what we call a root level certificate. What we need to do next is identify nodes on our network or devices that will have certificates based on this certificate authority. So we'll add device. So for my first one, I will enter my server computer name, and that's Bob's Dev SB2. And I'll enter in my local IP address and just click Create. And that's gonna add a node which I will distribute certificates to. I'm gonna do this once again, and I'll add my other node, which I think of as my client device, and the name of that computer is 2019 eval. And I'll enter in the IP address and click Create. Next, I need to generate certificates for each of these nodes based on what they're doing. So if we right click, you can see that we can generate OPC UA based certificates based on whether we're a client server or exporter, web server, runtime collaboration, or audit trail. So we're going to add a web server certificate since this is an engineering machine. We are using IIS to serve up the project. So I'll add a certificate and I can give it a name and I'll just call it web and click create. And then I'll add, of course, the runtime collaboration certificate and click create. And I'm going to basically do the same thing for my client computer. So basically this computer is acting as a certificate authority and I'm going to deliver these certificates to my client computer. So we'll do the same thing here. I'll add web just so I know what it is, click create and my runtime certificate. So now I've created these certificates, and what I need to do is move these node level certificates over to this computer so that secure communication is possible between my two nodes under the authority of my certificate authority. So we're gonna right click here and just choose export all. We're going to encrypt it with a password. And I'm just going to leave export for installation on configured devices because this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to install these on our configured client devices. And I'll just click export. Now it's going to ask me for a name. So I'm just going to call it Unified Certificates for Class and just hit save. And then I can close this. Now I'm just going to open up Explorer to this file and copy it. 
Next, I'm going to open up a remote desktop connection to 2019 eval and I am just going to paste my certificates in there. Now since I have runtime installed on this computer, I also have certificate manager so I'm just going to open it here and instead of creating a certificate authority here, I'm going to do open configuration and I'll open the exported encrypted file that I just copied over and enter in the password and click open. Now it's going to load that configuration, but all we want to do is install these certificates specifically for this node and it will install the certificates and put them in the correct places. So I'm just going to right click and do install all certificates. And once they're installed, we just click OK and close. The certificate manager has installed all the certificates in the places they need to be. So if we open Internet Information Services on this computer, we can go to our WinCC Unified SCADA website, which is what serves the project, and look at our bindings. And if we go to edit, you can see that it does, in fact, have the certificate that we just created. So now it's your turn. The next assignment is for you to generate your project certificates. So on your primary server where your engineering system is installed, open the Unified Certificate Manager and create a new certificate authority. Right click on your project CA after it's created and add your RT number one and number two devices. And then under each device, add a web server and RT collaboration certificates. After these are created, you'll want to distribute your project certificates by exporting them and copying your exported file over to your client PC. And then open that configuration in the local Unified Certificate Manager and install the certificates. So pause the video, complete these assignments, and then in the next section, we will publish both projects and test it in runtime.